everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Christopher and I am so excited to have you joining us. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, stop and look no further my friend because this place is for you. So you might as well go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and join the family. And if you're going to hang out with us here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram. I'll leave my handle right about here on the screen. I post over there daily and it is a great place to get to know each other a little bit better. Today I am bringing probably one of the most requested videos of all time on my channel and that is a plan with me video featuring the start planner. This is simply the best planner I have found in the last five to six years. That is no joke. It is the most comprehensive planner and I will tell you once you start diving into this I think this can replace all systems in your life because I can tell you, my friends, that it has for me. So what I love about this is it has brought a level of simplicity, yet still a lot of creativity, as well as houses everything that I need for a week, month, or year. So I'm excited to share with you my weekly setup of my start planner. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I am going to walk you through my weekly setup for my start planner, which is the best planner I've ever found. I love it so much. It is so comprehensive. I find that everything I need, I can put in this one location and oh, I love it so much. And I can't wait to share this setup with you. As you saw from the clip before, I keep it really, really simple. I'll go ahead and take you through, well, this is my mood board first and um, Christy and Jenny from Start Planner actually sent me a card based off of the review they saw on my YouTube channel. This is also my vision board, but I'm going to go ahead and take you to August. I don't do a lot of monthly planning because this is all on my computer. I do want to fill this up a little bit more and eventually I will. But this is my goal setting sheet and then... I want to share this with you guys. You all send me so many cards, so many cool things throughout the months um, to my P.O. box and I simply adore them. So you should know that most of the things that you send me, whether it is cards, end up on these first two pages of my month because I just don't need them for anything else. So someone sent me these. You are inspiring. You are radiant. You matter. Um, and then these are just some cards that really touched me. Um, and I have cards throughout this planner that are from all of you and I love it. But let's go ahead and dive into this weekly spread. So every week I change out my washi tape. So last week I used this really cool holographic washi tape that I picked up when I was in Belgium. And 
After that week is over, I go ahead and attach from Sessa V my seven everyday cards. So for this week, I'm focused on working out, eating healthy, reading, meditating, random acts of kindness, and hydrating. And then also my top three from the week, I will fill this out at the end of the week. And I always put those in, usually on Sunday when I'm doing my planning for the next week. Now, for the week, I don't really fill in any of my work tasks until I get to work on Monday morning. I schedule a block of an hour when I first get to work and I fill in all my other meetings, but I get a good plan and layout for my week, especially along all the personal tasks that I wanna do. So in the planner, I do block out, there's a place that has like a light bulb for a brain dump spot. I do blank it out on every other page just because I realize I don't need all of that space because I still use my graphic image notebook and my Louis Vuitton desk agenda to brain dump a lot of information. But here you see that I have my meetings laid out, my workout and dinner, bath, reading and bed. I put those things within my planner. I designate an hour for each because I know if I write them, I will actually do them. Then I use my to-do list. This top three box, instead of using it for my highest leverage tasks for the week, I use it as my gratitude spot. Um, it, just really works for me. What I also love about this planner is it leaves a spot for you to meal plan. So I will put BLD there and I'll write down what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's a spot to check off your workout, your vitamins, and your hydration boxes, which I really appreciate. And then the place for calories in and calories out. And then all the time, I've been using these quotes for work. This one says, when you cease to dream, you cease to live by Malcolm Forbes. Now you will see on the next page, I have blanked out one of the light bulb sections and then left this one open for writing. Once again, it's the same layout. I put everything in that I need um, to remember to do for myself because me time is important because you must take care of yourself before you're able to take care of others. I also add some stickers. I forget where these are from. I believe they are happy planner stickers. I really believe that they are. I will double check and make sure I leave them linked down below. They just fit with a very clean aesthetic that I enjoy while planning. Then I still have my to-do list. These do fill up. I never fill them up um, when I do my Sunday planning because I know I'll need space to write. Then you see that there are some thought bubbles for an additional brain dump. I find that's why I don't use both of these spots. This is where I'll record my gratitude, and you'll see that I stuck with a gray and cactus theme throughout my planner. The cactus washi is from Etsy. If I can still find it, because it's pretty old, I will leave it linked down below. Then you see, same thing goes for Thursday, and the same thing goes for Friday, and then I do have my weekend pages as well. What I love about this planner is that it's really clean, really simple, but yet encompasses everything that I need it to encompass. So I really just enjoy it and I think it is amazing. And if you are looking for planner piece, I would dive in and really examine the start planner. I will leave all my videos where I talk about it at length linked down below. Well, my friends, that is how I set up my start planner every single week. It is simple, it is streamlined, and it simply just works. And I hope that you give it a try because it is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful planner. And I think I will be sticking with them for quite some time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you again very, very soon. But in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.